Yes, Rodney Period. Stark. Rodney Stark, a wonderfully entertaining writer as well as wonderful scholar, makes the case that Christianity thrived despite all odds against it in the ancient world because it just did things better. It was just a better organization of human beings. Um, it played to their talents more. And I think there's a lot to be said for that argument. And without pretending to be a historian, I can tell you that Rodney Stark's not the only historian to have made it. I would like to quote from a great historian, uh, late historian from Yale, named Kenneth La Tourette, who makes a similar point. Part of what protected Christianity in a way that other religious sects back in the late Roman Empire were not protected, was that it had a way of protecting its own people. And that was one thing that lent its strength, its emphasis on the family, on how we are all brothers and sisters, including figurative brothers and sisters. We're supposed to take care of one another. Again, that sacrificial message that you get in Christianity really helped the fledgling religion. Another thing that helped, um, I think Rodney Stark would agree with this too, is the history of martyrdom. When people outside the church looked and saw what people inside the church would put up with to call themselves Christians, it was unbelievable. And it still is unbelievable. If you think about the penalties for being Christian, not where we are in the comfortable advanced West, but elsewhere in the world, there have been more Christian martyrs in the last hundred years than in all the centuries preceding them. And there are plenty of places today where Christians are persecuted. So I think throughout history, as Rodney Stark and Kenneth La Tourette would both say, people looking at the examples of those martyrs have said, hey, what is it about this religion that exerts such a pull? And you know, that's the sort of deep thing that plays into religious belief that the new atheists and radical secularists can't make any sense of. It's just not even on their radar screen, but it's part of why they don't understand Christianity and why it is still a potent force even in a secularizing world.